y'all, let's talk about potatoes. You're like, what in the world's potatoes? Well, I love combining two of my favorite things into one. That's food <laughs> and music. And potatoes refers to this musical technique that we have that teaches us and helps us know when to and how fast to play fiddle tunes. That was a lot of words. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> So we use these little intro licks that we call potatoes to help other folks know how fast we're going to play a fiddle tune and also to help them know the timing, like when are they supposed to come in. Now, a potato at its most basic form is meant to mimic what a fiddle player would do. Joan, chicka, joan, chicka, joan, chicka, joan, right? And that's establishing that tempo, letting folks know when to come in. And if we look at its most basic form on a guitar, if we're playing in the key of G, it would sound just like this. We're just gonna mimic that shuffle pattern picking. And often we'll do three or four measures of those. So if we're gonna play like Blackberry Blossom, I would do something like this. Okay, and by the time I get through those potatoes, you know how fast I'm going to play it. And then with my little walk up there, you know when I'm going to play it. But we can move on from there and make our potatoes a little bit more spicy. We could throw some grated cheese on it. We can put some sour cream, salt and pepper, all the good stuff. So one thing we're going to do to continue mocking uh, what that fiddle player does is we're going to slide into that root note. So let's start on our fourth fret of our D string. And let's slide, or hammer, doesn't matter, up to the fifth fret. And we'll let that be the first note of the measure. And that helps establish what these potatoes are doing. So rather than just having, we can have this. Okay, and that gives it a little movement, doesn't it? it? Makes it more interesting. I think it does. And it's up to you to put in however many hammer-ons or slides you want. Sometimes when I'm getting ready to kick off a fiddle tune, the first couple measures, I might just put one in there, and then I make them more frequent as I'm getting closer, and it helps build that energy. Like, yeah, the start of the song's coming. So that's exactly what a fiddle player does, too. So we, we use that on guitar. Uh, we can even make them more spicy. If you're into, like, hot sauce, barbecue sauce, put a little brisket on that tater, we could do that. And I do that by adding some cross-picking at times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same hammer on here, 4th to 5th fret, but I'm going to come down with my index finger and place it on the 3rd fret. And we're going to jump up and grab that 2nd string here and there. So it would look something like this. A little quicker, sounds like this. Doesn't that sound really cool? I think it does. And we can take that concept of potatoes and we can do it in whatever key we want. It's really easy to do it in D because you just move everything we just learned up one string. Right? So um, if we we're going to do it in the key of C, we can just go down to a C note and start one fret beneath that. So we can play potatoes in whatever key we want. Although in bluegrass fiddle tunes, we're going to, on guitar, we're going to primarily play out of three different positions. We're going to play out G position, C position, D position, and we'll use our capo to help us play in other keys if we need to. But if we had to play a potato in B flat, it's not hard to do. Find a B flat note and work that fret. Now, speaking of working, I've worked myself up a hunger. I think I'm going to go slap a... Good old genuine Idaho potato in the oven at 425 and uh, get my sour cream and cheese ready. Does that sound pretty good? Hey, if this lesson sounded pretty good, how about you subscribe and you click those notification bell so that you're notified whenever I put up a new lesson. If you want to learn much more about potatoes, I've got that lesson over on the website, banjobenclark.com. Don't forget that ben, that uh, Gold Pick members have access to every single lesson that I have there. Enjoy.